Given the wartime shortage of men, young women, often just out of high school, were hired to operate the control panels for the Calutrons. Ted Rockwell was a member of a special unit that responded to problems at Y-12. He describes how women operated the D-shaped separation units, or calutrons. Outside of this area was the, were the control panels, these long uh, panels, one for each of these Ds. And there would be a, a, a woman operator there running each of these Ds. They were trained uh, to run this process, very complicated, tricky process, uh, which had, uh, at Berkeley had been run only by PhDs. And they were not only trained how to do this, but they were trained without telling them what the heck they were doing. <laughs> they were not told it was uranium. Uh, they were merely told that they were making some sort of a catalyst that would be very important in the war. And these women were really incredible. Uh, they'd get these things going. And as I say, they had no idea what they were doing, really, but they understood how to optimize this mechanism and, and make it sing. Gladys Evans recalls the challenges of operating the controls to maximize production without popping off the machine. You had a board that stood about 10 feet tall, a machine type thing, on a, just kind of like a board, and, uh, and it had lots of uh, gauges on it. And you had to turn these gauges constantly. You were trying to raise a needle. There'd be a gauge would be about three inches around. And you'd have to try to raise the needle up to get the highest production you could get. But you couldn't take it as high as you wanted to take it or the whole machine would pop off. And then you'd get a blue light, which was a high voltage light. And then that would get you a lot of attention from the foreman and the shift supervisor and everything else. But trying to keep that just below, trying to get as much production as you could out of it and keep it just below popping off. You had about, I don't know, about four or six of these gauges you were watching. And that was, that was really a tedious thing to try to keep that production off. 